cracking jump nation it's your boy hiroshi s ak the jump rope coach right so we're here with another jump rope lab this is the one and only show on the internet on youtube um which is dedicated to skipping and it allows you guys to send me videos uh that you need help or you need correcting and i'll make sure that i can get you guys skipping like pros skipping like bosses with my small tips and hints and advice and everything else so today we have a video from chad gonzalez so Chad is struggling with the one-arm swings and then moving into the skipping motion because his, his rope is tangling up. Um, it's a very common thing that I see beginners doing and I have a very quick and simple fix for you guys today. If you get these type of small movements right, it can basically just take your skipping game to another level straight away. You already look like a pro, you already jump slicker. Um, and it's just a simple type of move where you're, you're just kind of starting off with one-arm swings with the rope and all you're gonna do is gonna pass the rope into your other hand and you're gonna start skipping. So let's go straight down to the studio and I'll see you in the next clip. Peace. Yes guys, we are here at the RAHQ, aka the studio. First and foremost, this is what I want you guys to do, right? As you do your one-arm swings, I've already shown this in previous tutorials, but remember to always make sure you put your index finger in between the two ropes. So hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna basically put my index finger through both rope handles, like so. And that's how you're gonna start your one-arm swings. So with the one-arm swings, as you're moving on one side, when you begin to pass the rope over, this is where I want you to kind of open your palms out and you're just gonna pass onto your left hand or your right hand, whatever it is. But the problem what Chad is having is that whilst he's doing the one-arm swings, the rope is naturally tangling. So what you need to kind of understand with the jump rope guys is you have to untangle it with side swings. That is a kind of key tip or the advice that I'm going to give you today. So let me just give you a kind of quick example of what I'm talking about. As I'm doing the one arm swings, the index finger being in between the rope is going to allow minimal tangling already. So whilst I'm doing this, I can feel that there's very minimal tangling happening as I move to the other side. I can start to feel a little bit of tangling. Um, not much, but there's a little bit of tangling happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically, when I pass the rope into my other hand, before I jump through it, I'm gonna do another couple of side swings to untangle the rope. So this is how it's gonna look. So one arm swings. We're gonna pass the other hand, and here I'm untangling the rope. So I hope you guys can see that. There was another couple of side swings before I actually jumped through the rope. What Chad, what Chad is actually doing is he's doing his one-arm side swings, the rope is slightly tangling, and then he's trying to open it out on the first kind of pass over. So what you need to kind of remember is when you do the first pass onto your other hand, you want to do a couple of more side swings, and then you start to open the rope out, and then you're going to jump through it without no tangling. You may have to start to do more side swings on your left hand side as opposed to your right hand side. So you do more on your left to untangle it and if you feel that again you need a bit more on the right hand side you've got to move to the right hand side to untangle it. So one more thing that I noticed from Chad's video which I think is also going to help a lot of you out there whilst you're doing this type of transition. What I want you guys to do is make sure that you skip to the beat, skip every single time the rope clips the ground and that you look like you're in control. What tends to happen when people are doing side swings and when they pass the rope over, they kind of stop with their feet and it looks a little bit awkward or a little bit jittery. What I want you guys to do is just have a nice fluid motion. So when you're doing your one arm side swings, just practice doing it nice and slow, nice and composed. When you make the first pass over, as you side swing, I want you to keep bouncing whilst the rope is clipping the ground. So what tends to happen with beginners, when they make the pass, they kind of stop their feet, they get ready, and then they kind of just start skipping. It looks kind of awkward. What I want you to do is just keep to the rhythm, pass the rope, keep bouncing, keep jumping, and there you go. You have a nice You see, that's the key tip for making side swings look good, which is to make sure you're still bouncing on the balls of your feet and that you look like you're in rhythm. Right, so that kind of concludes this portion of the video. I hope that quick tip helps you chat and everyone out there who has the same similar type of problem. Um, we're gonna go straight up to the studio. I'm gonna catch my breath and I'm gonna see you in the next clip. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. You found it useful. 
Um, these are the small movements, like I said, that are going to really take your jump rope game to another level. If you found this video helpful, guys, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. That'd be really useful for me. And don't forget to also comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see going forward next. And as you always know, I always try to get back to all of you. I always try to reply back to every single message. So once again, happy 2018. Hopefully this year will be absolutely epic for all of you and that you're going to take your training to another level and that all of you out there are going to be skipping like pros in no time. So without further ado, I'm going to catch you in the next episode. So take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Ugh.